If you were to rank vehicles that do what they're told to do, the Toyota Hilux might be one of the top five greatest workhorses of all time. For 50 years, over eight generations, the Hilux has proved itself to be reliable, durable, yet modest about its accomplishments. The Hilux was born in March 1968, as a substitution for two separate getaway example lines under Toyota's corporate umbrella. Beneath it was the Hino Brisca, a sedan-derived delivery truck from the early 1960s, and the Hilux also supplanted the older Toyota Stout model initially dating from the manufacturer's Toyota dates. Hino was bought out by Toyota right before the Hilux came to be, and from that moment on it has only manufactured trucks, including assembling Hiluxes. Even as the second-generation Hilux of 1972 improved the truck, and introduced the 2-liter engine, it's the third-generation Hilux where the truck truly stumbled its groove, offering four-wheel drive for the first time. The 78-introduced truck will be still more recognizably Hilux-like considered from the present daylight, but it's also the moment where the Hilux veered toward vacation application, and manual transmission became available. Too. In the U.S., the Hilux was known plainly as the Toyota truck from 1973 on. In the early 80s, Winnebago proselytized 1,500 trucks to wagon-like tracker specification using fiberglass. These Toyota-approved constructs preceded the 84 first-generation 4Runner, which Toyota based on the fourth-generation Hilux. The 4Runner, also known as the Hilux Surf, was already a sport utility vehicle instead of a job truck, but it definitely showed its Hilux roots despite plea to different purchasers. The fourth-generation Hilux also gained a V6 engine, but the iconic, customized Marty McFlight truck from 1985 as back to the future film had the trusty 2.24 banger slash 5-speed compounding. The fifth generation, ironically the only Oni built in the United States, was also the last generation to be sold in the US. From 1995 on, the truck was replaced on the US market by the beefier Tacoma, whose first generation continued to be manufactured until 2004. Another interesting thing about the fifth generation Hilux is that it also gained a Volkswagen badge for hand-picked marketplaces, and those were even built in Germany. In late 1997, the Hilux moved into its sixth generation, which was the last one available in Japan, when production terminated in 2005. That was the end for the Japanese Hilux until late last year. The 2004 introduced 7th generation truck was still designed in Japan, but built in South America, South Africans and South Asia. The same starts for the current, 8th generation, which has been on the market since 2015. For numerous beings all over the world, a thrash and bumpy, sometimes rusty Hilux is what keeps the daily grind wheeling no matter if they work on a farm or a mine north of the Arctic Circle. Despite its name, it's could never been about high-pitched luxury, rather about plainly get nonsense done.